The dog named Hope, now under intensive care after being picked up by a good Samaritan on the side of the road. The way this dog is and, and was left is just unacceptable. The black lab mix, skin and bones, just weighing 30 pounds. It's kind of a touch and go situation right now. Animal shelter officials say it looks like a case of cruelty. We're hoping that people will come forward who might have known this dog. Tonight, they're asking the public for help with any information about where that dog may have come from. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ann Craig. I'm Darren Kramer. That dog found yesterday morning along Route 1 in Brantford, right near Big Y, by a good Samaritan who took the dog to the Dan Cosgrove Animal Shelter where they named her Hope, saying that this is one of the worst cases that they have ever seen. And here's what we learned about Hope today. She is a black lab mix. She's about five to eight years old and is not spayed. We've been following this story all day, but we want to warn you, some of these images might be hard to look at. News 8's Noelle Gardner has been following this story. She joins us now live tonight from Bramford. Noelle? Darren and Ann, the vet tonight, is working around the clock to save the dog's life. She was brought here to the animal shelter yesterday, skin and bones, with just hours to live. It's one of the worst cases of animal cruelty the Dan Cosgrove Animal Shelter has ever seen. This lab mix was found nearly starved to death in Brantford. Because she is all bones and because her face is sunken in. A good Samaritan saw the lab walking, then fall down near the big Y plaza on Route 1 and brought it to the animal shelter. She uh, saw a dog walking and she saw it collapse and she picked it up and put it in her car and brought it here. Laura Bourbon says the lab they're calling Hope was hours away from death. It was not able to stand, not able to walk, not able to lift its head. Hope is just skin and bones. She has no fat on her body and only weighs 30 pounds. We're guesstimating that she needs to put on at least 30 more pounds, um, but it could be more than that. Bourbon says Hope was starved for two to three months. You know, the vet was estimating between eight and 12 weeks that the dog was left in this condition. Bourbon says Hope still can't walk or lift her head and her organs began shutting down. Because the dog um, was in the process of shutting down, you're now trying to bring everything back um, and we don't know what kind of permanent damage the dog is going to have. Hope is between five and eight years old. She isn't spayed and doesn't have a microchip. They also think the dog was left in a small cage because she has bed sores on her in multiple different areas. Animal lover Mary Babinski was dropping off blankets to the shelter when she heard the news. I'm trying not to be angry. I'm trying not to cry. Um, it's just, it's, of course, it's heartbreaking. Bourbon has a message for pet owners. If you're financially incapable of caring for it, reach out for help. Don't leave an animal in a situation like that. They depend on us for all their necessities. Tonight, Hope is under constant watch. The vet is doing everything possible to keep her alive. Meanwhile, the animal shelter has launched an investigation. If you know the dog or the owner, give them a call. I'm live tonight in Brantford. Noel Gardner, News 8.